Hello to everyone. Welcome to another English class. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Well, welcome to another English class. Okay, this is the class number uh, 12, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, class number 12. All right, let's get started. Welcome to everyone. All right. So, okay. All right, let's start with a reading exercise. Let me know if you can see my screen. No, no, not yet. Okay, I'm going to start taking the attendance list first. Okay, for example, here we go. Uh, Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Hernandez Sotelo. Present teacher. Good. Um, Maribel Ramos. Maribel Ramos. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Good. Lopez González. Present teacher. Thank you. Rugamas Melara. Present. Punes Mineros. Punes Mineros. Santana González. Present teacher. Good. Tobar Ayala. Tobar Ayala. Um, Herrera Lucha. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. López Orellana. Present teacher. Good. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Good. Um, Mejía Hueso. Mejía Hueso. León Rivera. León Rivera. Well, Martínez Landaverde. Castaneda Velasco. Castaneda Velasco. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Hernández Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Ruth Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Molina de García. Molina de García. López de Cabrera. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Welcome to our English class. Eh, let's have this reading part. Let me know if you can see it, please. Can you see? Teacher. Can you see it? All right. It says the rabbit and the turtle. Okay. After you read this story, reach each of the following question and select the best answer. Teacher. Good, Hi. good evening. Excuse good evening. Me. Uh, Mejia Elizabeth here, present. Sorry. Okay. Thank you, miss. All right. It says, one day a rabbit was boasting about how fast he could run. He was laughing at the turtle for being so slow. Much to the rabbit's surprise, the turtle challenged him to, re to a race. The rabbit thought this was a good joke and accepted the challenge. The fox was to be the umpire of the race. As the race began, the rabbit raced away ahead of the turtle. Just like everyone, though, the rabbit got to the half, half halfway Point and could not see the turtle anywhere. He was not, he was hot and tired and decided to stop and take a short snap. Even if the turtle passed him, he would be able to race to the finish line ahead of him. All this time, the turtle kept walking step by step by step, step by step by step. He never quit, no matter how hot or tired he got. 
he just kept going. However, the rabbit slept longer than he had thought and woke up. He could not see the turtle anywhere. He went to the full speed to the finish line, but found the turtle there waiting for him. Okay, number one, who was boosting? The fox? Me. Me. The rabbit. Excellent. Who could who could run fast? Who could run fast? The rabbit. The, the rabbit. See. Sí, sí. The rabbit. Sí. Excellent. The rabbit. Good. Uh, number three. He, who wanted to challenge the rabbit to race? Who wanted to challenge the rabbit to a race? The turtle. The turtle. Excellent. The turtle. Or what happened at the start of the race? The turtle ran ahead. Okay, the turtle ran ahead. This one, letter A. No, B. B, B. the rabbit ran ahead. So yes. is it A or B? I need another, another opinion. Letter B. B. Seren? Number five, what happened at the halfway point? <clears throat> what happened to the half point, what, uh, half point, halfway point? C. I'm sorry? Letter C. Letter C. Yes. I'm sorry, I click B. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Six. What did the turtle do? Letter A. Letter A? Letter A. Excellent. Seven, right? Who won the race? The turtle. The turtle. 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 Good. Okay. Excellent. Turtle. And the last one. The last one. What lesson do we learn from this from this story? A better A. To, su to succeed, we must keep going and not quit. Excellent. Okay, good, excellent, very good. Well, uh, yesterday we had the, the reading, we had the reading, so today we're going to refresh the use of this structure, which is we need to create the main steps to include the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Would it be better if, if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the servers, dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, uh, Ms. Rosibel. You are Sarah, 
and Miss Sandra, you are Walter. Ready? Okay. She need to crack the main step to include in the manual to try or stuff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Good if the it be better. If chapter one is about known servers, should greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the servers, servers, rest, call, and appearance in the first chap chapter. First, okay, y es como una E pero cerrada. First. 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 Very good. Este es eh, menu. 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 Okay, wouldn't. 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 Be better. Be better. Wouldn't be better. Wouldn't be better. Better. Wouldn't be better. Excellent. Okay, propose. Propose. Very good. Excellent. All right. Next. Um, let me see. How about... Um, let me see who has to come around. Miss Cecilia. She's Sarah. And Miss Concepcion. She's Walter. Okay, teacher. We need to create the main step to include it in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Servers need to know to the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should get the customer and after that, now they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the servers, dress code, and appearance in the first chapter. First chapter, very good. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, that was the use of would it be better? Okay, ahora vamos a ver un poco más. Vamos a ver ciertas oraciones para um, asimilar esta oración. Okay. Um, okay. Eh, ¿Qué significa setting a table? Setting a table. Setting a table. Como poner una mesa. Exacto, como colocar, arreglar, okay, iniciar una mesa. Very good. Eh, let me see. The canting wine. Como degustar un vino. Exactly, very good. Eh, requesting a shift change. Uh, requerir un cambio de turno. Exacto, el shift acá es, eh, tiene el significado de, eh, o la connotación de um turno okay okay following the schedule seguir el horario seguir el horario muy bien very good uh addressing kitchen personnel como dirigirse al personal de cocina excellent personnel getting to know the menu conocer el menú Exactly. Excellent. Dress code. Excellent. El, el, el código de vestimenta. Very good. Addressing customers. Dirigirse a los clientes. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Okay. About tips and taxes. Propina e impuestos. Propina, muy bien. E impuestos. Very good. Excellent. All right. Prevention 
of accidents and safety. Prevención de accidentes y seguridad. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Mm, all right. Okay. Tenemos esta, esta parte que dice how to use would be better. Okay, alguien sabe qué significa esa expresión would be better. Sería mejor sí. Exacto. Más conveniente. Sería mejor sí o más conveniente sí. Okay, o qué tal esta opción. Muy bien. Ok. Tenemos el sujeto. Ok. Ya saben, he, she, it. Um, y le, el modal verb would plus be better. Más el verbo en infinitivo. Tenemos una, unos ejemplos acá y dice, it would be better to let employees decide what process to change. Okay, it would be better to let employees to decide what process to change. Okay, another example. It would be better to let a manager to take care of the situation. All right. All right. Uh, it says, otras, expresión, otras expresiones para uh, provide, dar sugerencias o alternativas. Tenemos, would you prefer, preferirías, would you prefer either going to the beach or to the mountain? Would you prefer either to eat tacos or pupusas today night? All right. Would you prefer going to the stadium or watching a movie. Ok. Este es como, no sería mejor, no sería mejor. Wouldn't be better to, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better to? Ok. And the last one says, it would be better, it would, it would be good if, sería bueno si, sí. It would be good if we had a professional to complete the man. It would be good if we had a professional to complete the man. Ok, tengo más, vamos a, voy a presentar más oraciones para que puedan, es que pasó con la cámara. Jesus. Okay, yeah, it works now. All right, I'm gonna show you some sentences for you to um, compare the expression. Okay, and then we're gonna do the exercise from the manual. Can you see the? Can you see the sentences? Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we have. Here we have. For example, it would be better if. It would be better if. Oh, sounds good. Okay, for example, here it says. It would be better if. It would be better if. Sería mejor si. Okay. Uh, here we have, for example, maybe it would be better if the doctor couldn't hear it. Maybe it would be better if the doctor couldn't hear it. Couldn't hear it. Okay. Y dice, tal vez sería mejor si el doctor no pudiera, no pudiese oírlo. Okay. Also we have, yeah, maybe it would be better if we wait inside. Sería mejor si, espera, tal vez, si, tal vez, sería mejor si, espera, esperábamos dentro. Next, it says, maybe it would be better if she wasn't here. Next. Um, don't you think it would be better if Aran were here? Well, perhaps, este perhaps significa quizás, ah, quizás, quizás, 
Well, perhaps it would be better if we spoke in person. Maybe it would be better if the doctor couldn't hear it. Nonetheless, nonetheless, we think it would be better if we were touched. Well, it would be better if I could do an autopsy. Autopsy. Perhaps it would be better if you let in your coffin. Okay, I was saying it would be better if you did, if you did live. But it would be better if you admit if, if you admit it by yourself. Franklin, I think it would be better if I was, if it wasn't Psycho Sam. Actually, it would be better if she did stay. And perhaps it would be better if you hadn't seen me today. Maybe it would be better if the two of you wait outside. But it would be better if they do not marry. I think it would be better if we talked in private. I thought, I thought it would be better if we had a chat. I think it would be better if you sat over there. Okay, so there you can find a lot of sentences that will help you to um, use, okay, this expression. Okay, les voy a compartir el link de este website donde pueden encontrar varias oraciones utilizando it will be better, que es una expresión eh, para ya sonar eh, diferente, más American, que es una expresión que les puede ayudar más de alguna situación. Y cómo se aprende y cómo en realidad usted eh, adquiere una, un vocabulario o alguna expresión, pues a través de la práctica. Si la lee, si la pone en práctica, si la utiliza en un contexto, es, es, va a ser difícil que se le olvide. Entonces les dejo el link por si quieren ir a chequear las oraciones y de paso vamos a ir al manual también. Vamos a hacer okay. el ejercicio, el ejercicio 20, de la página 22, ejercicio eh, 5. Exercise five. Tell me. Excuse me. Uh, can you share the link of the reading, please? The reading, the previous. Yes, about the rabbit and the turtle. Sure. Thank you. There you have. Can you can you open the link? Yes. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do the exercise five for from page twenty two.
teacher. I'm so sorry, but I don't know what what can I do, but I I me salí de la reunión y creo que iba para la sala tres. Ahorita la envía. Gracias. Thank you. Teacher. Hello, Miss. Me va a mandar para una sala. Sí, ya la envié, Miss. ¿Qué le pasó? No sé. Vaya, la vamos a enviar donde. Ya era la cuatro. Sí, creo que me sale mal. 
but, no lo he hecho um, I don't know, but the second for me is wouldn't wouldn't it be better to revise the revise? I the manual the manual before printing. Mm -hmm. Teacher the, teacher, the pronunciation to re re revise, to revise. What is the pronunciation? This one. What? In the second sentence. This one. Ah, uh, to revise. To revise. To revise. revise. Mm -hmm. to revise. Uh, Why in the platform this sentence? When I put in order to, I have a mistake. I don't know. There is a mistake in the platform, but I don't know why. I already, but they didn't fix it yet. Mm -hmm. I already mentioned the mistake. Uh, but I don't know why they haven't finished. They haven't. Work. They haven't fixed the problem because many students told me that they the you wrote correctly the sentences, but the uh, platform, where in the platform, uh, it did it didn't reflect that you were correct. Uh huh. Yes. But I don't know what happened. I guess it is a in the platform. There is a mistake. Okay. I. This sense, in this case, I put wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? I'm sorry? Is that correct? Uh, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Mm -hmm. it, would, it wouldn't be better. It? It wouldn't be better. Mm. The second. No, no, no. ¿Cuál the, me está preguntando? The, Which one are you asking? The second. The second. Ah, second. it wouldn't be better to revise the manual before printing. Mm -hmm. The third is it. It, it will be. It will be. It will be good. It changed the dress code. Okay, uh, is it you're asking me number two or number three? Yeah, uh, number three. Yeah. Mm, if, if it if would be would good, be good if we change the dress code. It would be good if we change the dress code. Mm -hmm. Así estaría bien. Teacher, are you here? Would it be better? It would Teacher. Be... Hello? We have a question. Tell me your question. Um, as in conditionals, we can change the order if we put a comma in the middle, right? Yes. So in the case of number three, is, is that okay if we start with if we change the dress, comma, it would be good. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. It is good because you begin with the if class. So you oh. must, you must uh, split the sentences by a comma. Okay. It would be good if we change the dress. If we, if we change the dress, it would be good. Porque si no sería... Will it be good if we change the dress, verdad? Yes, but in that case, we, we don't use comma. Okay. 
Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. Would it, wouldn't it be better to revise the money before printing? It would be good if we change the dress code. Yeah. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for Jeff. Yes. Would it be better to let the manager decide? Good. Okay. Solo ese punto hacer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, miss. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay we are finished great you are done excellent just let me check the, the rest of the groups please okay, okay. are you done No, no, no yet, teacher. No yet. Okay, no problem. You have time. We're going to make uh, only the uh, number five feature. Yes, sir. No, only number on, only number five. Let's okay. do number then the 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 another exercise later on. No sería mejor que revisáramos el manual de la Va, por eso ahí, ahí entonces sería would be better. Wouldn't it be wouldn't better. It, wouldn't it be better. Ajá, por eso, o sea, a eso. De que después del wouldn't iría el, 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 el it. Uh -huh. Así es. Por eso no me salían bien a mí. Sí, ya solo esa oración es más ordenada, ¿verdad?
All right, we are back. All right, uh, here we go. Here we have the exercise number five, where we're gonna use the where we're going to use the expression will be better. Okay, uh, number one test. Would you prefer to have a different schedule? How about number two? Is there any volunteer to read the answer of number two or the correct order of the sentence? Be teacher. Go ahead, please, miss. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Excellent. Number three, another volunteer. Hey, teacher. Mr. Jorge, please. It will be good if we change the dress code. Okay. If if we if we will okay. It would be good if we change the dress code. Very good. Okay, number four. Any volunteer? Four. Me, teacher. I admit. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I didn't I catch. It's a good idea to have a tiny manual for traps. I would be a good idea. Uh, to have to have a trainer manual for chef for chef uh -huh, for chef okay good. okay e, that is okay e, in the last one go ahead mr heber i guess it is it wouldn't be better to decide to let to let the managers. Okay, can you repeat it again? It wouldn't be better if it wouldn't be better to decide to let the manager. To let the manager. Okay. It wouldn't be better to let the manager decide, right? Uh, to let the manager. Sé que esa, la número cinco es, wouldn't it be better? It wouldn't be better. better to let the manager decide. Teacher, but it's a question. It's a question. Is it? It's a question. Ah, yeah. I didn't see this. This was shadow, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Either... Okay, I see a little blind with this color. The manager. Okay, yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. it is. Wouldn't it be better? Or oh, wouldn't? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, it be better? Mm -hmm. be wouldn't better. it be better? Mm -hmm. To let the manager decide. The side, correct. Let the manager decide. To let the manager decide. Yes. To let the manager decide. Yes. Ah. Es que yo la tenía así, pero la borré y la puse al revés. Yeah, I'm so sorry. The thing is that I didn't see the question mark because it was it was very blurry, un poco borroso, blurry. Clarissa, será que pones mute, por favor. Okay, next exercise. Excuse me. Next exercise. In pair, change the index you create in the previous page with a classmate. Then give a suggestion about how to improve, how to improve it using would be better or alternative expression. Okay. Dice, en parejas, okay, intercambia el index o oh, el los subtítulos creo que es en español eh, subtemas perdón you que tú creaste en la página anterior con tus compañeros 
darle eh, sugerencias acerca de cómo puede mejorar utilizando Who Be Better or Alternative Expressions. Ok, explain the reason of, user, of your suggestion to the class. Okay, exercise number six and number seven. Ok, to uh, put in practice the use of would be better. Okay, here we go. We're going to practice the use of, of Jesus. It will be better. Exercise one. Okay, good. One is complete. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Two. Let's put this before. Number two. Hello, hello, is there any question here? Hola, hola. Estamos intentando descifrar. Hmm. Apareció otra compañera. Lo siento. Eso vamos a hacer. Lo siento. ¿Cuál cambiaría? Me acuerdo que significaba setting a table. Para Poner o colocar una mesa. Hello. Y yo de hablar y me le había quitado el micrófono. Lo siento, vengo frustrada del, del anterior. <risa> Vale. ¿Cuáles cambiarían o cuáles sugerencias verían? Ay. 
eh, supuestamente de, de estos, de los del día de ayer, recuerdo que había que hacer como, como pasos a seguir, ¿no? El manual, ¿no? Uh -huh. No serían pasos. Es como índices. Son, uh -huh. son índices. Uh -huh. Entonces, este no sé cuál, no sé cuál eligieron. Mm, mm, mm. Me levanté con exceso de todo. <risa> no. <risa> Pantalla. Uh, Para ver, puede verla usted. Vaya, está bien. Vaya, sí, lo hicimos nosotros. En el grupo de Hay Noche. Ah, ok. And the customer. Eh, and the teacher. Ay. Es que, me, por ejemplo, la, la segunda oración donde hemos ordenado el índice, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Which one? Eh, este, por ejemplo. Addressing. Addressing. Eh. Addressing. Addressing. Addressing kitchen person. And person. Okay. Y el siguiente lo damos así. No sé cómo lo tiene usted. Guillermo. Eh, en este caso, como solicitaba un índice, mmm, lo separé como en en cuatro creo en uno, dos, tres, cuatro en, en cinco categorías uh, entonces por ejemplo the first is how to serve include sitting at table the canteen yeah. wine getting to know The menu. The menu uh -huh. Second, uh, about personal and appearance. Yes. Uh, following the schedule, dress code, and uh, requesting a shift change. There's addressing kitchen personnel, addressing customer. Mm -hmm. um, For uh, extras uh, about tip and taxes, and finally, occupation health and safety, uh, prevention of accidents and safety. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> en el caso de nosotros si lo dejamos muy solo como ordenando la idea de cuál es el servicio de sí, sí. Ah. comprendo ese día lo esto Perdón. Y el siete, sharing. Sería la segunda parte del seis. Sería give suggestion about how to improve improve the using would be better or alternative. Arriba. Expressions.
Se me trabó. Voy a compartir el, 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 la pantalla. Pero es que no, no tiene mayor ciencia. Vuelva, vuelva a compartir. Es que estoy teniendo problemas yo. Vale, pero es, es del, siempre del mismo, del mismo libro. Sí, o sea, póngalo. Póngalo, yo vale, me acuerdo. Ahora. Yo pensé que yo pensé que era más chiquito, no. Vale. Vaya a hacer el ejercicio. El ejercicio. El ejercicio 2. Creo que era el 2. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí, ahí. ahí. Eso, la, la conversación. Ah, no, era el 3. El 3. <risa> ese, ese. Vaya. Ah. Vaya. For me, it would be better to, uh, to get to know how to address to the customers. Vaya, entonces la discusión sería lo que yo considero mejor y lo que ustedes consideran mejor. O sea, es como hacer un índice, que como en cuanto a prioridades. ¿Qué es lo primero que ah, tendría que hacer? Para, para atención al cliente. Ajá, ajá. Ah. Y Ay, después, sé. ustedes no están de acuerdo conmigo y dicen, no, for me, it would be better to... Um, ¿Dónde, güey? To, to, to... Ah. What's the uh, ah. To get to know the menu. Bye. Y así empieza la conversación. Oh... Entendí. Lo malo ah, okay. de faltar a clase. <ríe> Está perdido. Ok, en este caso, para mí. Pero este lo vamos a hacer en la parte del número 6. Como es. Donde aparece el
Yo digo que sí, vi Good ahí. What you prefer? Un cambio de turno. It good you prefer. Quizás mejor Be Good. Good, be good. Sí, Be Good. Así es verdad. Mhm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Vale. La siguiente sería. De ahí que tiene. Yo tengo getting to know the menu. Ok. Pongamos eso entonces. Sí, porque yo la tengo en la 4. Y la tiene en la 5. Getting to know the menu. Ajá. It could be, be better or it could be good. Be good, Creo ¿verdad? que hay Vigo también ahí, ajá. Uh -huh. Las seis. Ah, todavía la estoy escribiendo. Getting to know the menu. La seis es la que tiene de setting a table. Bro. Ajá, setting a table. Solo dele, eh, para que no esté creando cuadros, eh, Ceci, solo dele enter para que le pase abajo. En el mismo cuadro ahí que ha hecho. Oye. En la misma oración. No, pero ya no me puedo volver al otro. ¿Cómo no? Solo presiones sobre la... Ahí. Ahí, dele clic. No, se me aparece no, otro. Ya no, ya no. Ah. Aquí lo voy a hacer así. <ríe> ah, bueno. Ajá, It could be. Uh, be better. Customer. Be better, ¿no? Be better setting be a table. Setting a table, sí. No, es acabarla así. Okay. Ella no está creando cuadros. Uh -huh. Y en la... Um, yo la siete tengo como... Addressing customers. Ah, yo la tengo... En el último la tengo. Entonces pongamos eso entonces. Eso. It could... Be... Would be better or good? Yo creo que better. Ese es dirigirse a los clientes. Ajá. Uh -huh. It would be better. Addressing customers. Customers. Okay. La ocho yo la tengo como addressing kitchen personal. Ya, ya ahí ya. Tenía con las suyas porque yo esa la tengo como la primera nomás. 
pongamos esas mm. uñas entonces okay be better or be good eh, be good be good Vaya. Faltan todavía. No, no creo sí, que faltan. faltan dos. Ah, no. La otra sería entonces el del de Canting Wine. ¿Qué would you prefer? The Canting Wine. Bueno, ¿Qué es de Canting Wine? Yo no me acuerdo qué. De cantar vino, como de gustar un vino. Ah. Oh. Por eso le, creo... lo utilizo ahí, yo prefiero. Ah, no, prefiero, le voy a decir que mejor prefiero ahí. Uh -huh. It's good, nada más. It's good, you prefer. ¿Sí? De canting wine. Pero sí está bien prefer. No, pre Solo prefer. No, prefer. Quítale la E en ese. Ahí. Esa E también. ¿Así? Ajá, uh -huh. así. De canting way. Ok. Y la diez. Ah, ya. Hey. All right. Well, uh, after you were in the exercise, let's see what you have. Okay. You have to exchange. Well, actually, you have to use the expression will be better. Okay. To give a better solution. Right. Or any suggestion. Suggestions are sugerencias. Okay. I don't know if we got volunteers who want to share the, the exercise. Okay, who wants to share the exercise number six? Okay, otherwise, I'm going to choose some volunteers. Okay, how about group number five, composed by Miss Cecilia, Miss Concepcion, and Mr. Juan Antonio? Okay, teacher. Um, no sé. ¿Comparto? Sorry, okay, no problem. Okay. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. You, are you going to share screen? Yes. Solo regalé un momentito. Ok, no problem. Gracias. 
Solo nos faltó una. Ahí está, dicho. Y los, los leo. Ok. Uh, it could be good dress call. It could uh, be better protection of accident in safari. It could be better uh, following, following the sketch. Uh, be good, be good uh, request a chit chunk. It would be good getting to know the menu. It, it would be better uh, setting a table. Uh, it would be better uh, addressing customer. It could uh, be good addressing kitchen personnel. It could you prefer the cutting wide? Y la última sería it would, it would be better um, about this in Texas. No sé si están bien dicha. Don't listen. I'm sorry, I was mute. <laughs> okay, um, that, do we have any volunteer from group? Let me see, a uh, four composed by Miss Rosibel, Mr. Luis, Mr. Daniel, or Miss Clarixa. Is there any volunteer? Okay, how about group number three, composed by Mr. Herbert, Mr. Isaias, Mr. Ivan, Miss Karen, and Miss Ruth. I don't know if you work on it, on the exercise. Uh, hi, teacher. Este, no, we understood the, the exercise, the number. Number? We, we understand the exercise uh, of a uh, different kind, uh, mm. different. Okay, show me what you have or the thing that you we did. different. We just... Uh, Give, give it a, an order in, the, in, the, in that list. Okay. okay, let me see. Can you please read the, all right, read the order. No problem. I understand. 
read it. Léalo. El orden. Uh, the first one is addressing customers. The second one is setting a table. Number three, getting, getting to know the menu. Fourth is dress code. And... Uh, then right. number, number five, addressing kitchen personnel. Okay. And then for us, uh, it would be better um to we, we said to know how how to the the camp wine all right that is the last one and we continue <laughs> then it would be better to know about how to follow the schedule the schedule all right Know about prevention of accidents and safety. Then about tips and taxes. Okay. And the last one, requesting a shift change. Got it. Okay. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Uh, can you please give me three sentences using will be better, please? Just to see if you know how to handle it. Can you please give me three sentences using will be better? It would be better to get to know how to address the customers first. Excellent. Then it would be good if we know how to address the kitchen personnel. The kitchen personnel. Yes. To have a good uh, working environment. Okay. And, and third, as, as the third place, it would be better to get to know the menu so that we can give the customers uh, um, a good service. A good service. Okay. Got it. Very good. Well, um, excellent. How about... In group number two, composed by Mr. Carlos, Mr. Guillermo, Mr. Jonathan, or Ms. Silvia. Okay, well, a uh, group number one. Miss Claudia, Miss Karen, Mr. Manuel, or Miss Sandra. Okay, teacher. Uh, yesterday, the index uh, for our manual was the seat the customer in a table. Mm -hmm. um, first, read the customer, ask the customer how, uh, about how many people need the table. Prepare and clean the table, go for the customer, see the customer, and give the menu. But Sandra, give a, how do you say, a, 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 so another uh, steps. Mm -hmm. First, uh, it would be better if you open the, the restaurant door to the customer. Got it. Good. And the another one is if you would be better if you ask the last name to the customer for personalize the the treatment or el tra el trato, no sé, teacher, or the service, the, the personalized service. the service. Yes. Good. Okay. Excellent. Very complete the comments. Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna work on a homework that we're gonna have for tomorrow. Okay, so the homework 
uh, first of all, you have to create conversation. Okay, and I wanna see how you include the different structures, scenes, simple present, simple past, modal verbs. Okay, and here it is. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see it? All right, it yes. says sell a product, okay? Uh, it tests a student A and a student B, but we're gonna work in trios. Vamos a trabajar en, en grupos de tres. Y vamos a integrar un grupo, un tercer estudiante. Y dice, use a student A, the salesman. It says, esta es la descripción de este personaje. You are the salesman of company that sells office, office supplies. Today you, ha you have a sale visit to a very big company. If you get this company to buy office supplies from you, it will be a sales of the year. Profits are going to go through the roof. Talk to them about how your supplies are, what kind of things you can of offer them, why the competition and stuff is the worst, etc. Eventually, get them to sign the contract. Y el estudiante B será, you are in charge of hiring suppliers for a large multinational company. That means you deal with a lot of money. Today you have the visit from a salesman who sells office office supplies. You are interested in his product, but you want to get the best deal and give them how much money you are going to spend. You have power to negotiate. Try to get the lowest possible price. If the salesman is reluctant to lower price, tell him you know other sellers who, of, who offer the same product cheaper. Ok, bueno, el propósito de, esta de este diálogo es que usted pueda poner en práctica las diferentes estructuras. Por ejemplo, la forma en superlativas, comparativas, que pueda poner el uso de modal verbs, cómo sonar más polite. Ok, también eh, poder intercambiar ideas okay, que puedan llevar su, el conocimiento a un contexto, llamémoslo real. Ok, entonces vamos a... Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Uno será la persona que, lo ven, que venda el producto. Eh, si gustan, para dejarlo un poquito más libre a su, y también un poco para que puedan ampliar su creatividad, eh, pueden cambiar el, el artículo que la persona o el student A está vendiendo. Okay, puede cambiar, pueden cambiar el producto. Ok, y... No puede ser el mismo, solo que sea la del vendedor. Sí, uno será el vendedor y otro es el que compra. Ah, sí. Y siempre Pero, ahí cambiaríamos entonces la lectura, teacher. ¿Perdón? ¿Le cambiaríamos la lectura o le dejamos la misma lectura? Pues es que es, eh, esta no es lectura, sino que es una descripción de cómo es el personaje, digamos. Ajá. Usted ahí puede sí. hacer ciertos cambios, ¿ok? Pero eh, la intención es que usted pueda hacer, usar comparación, superlativo. Sí. Y pues la idea principal es que pueda vender un producto también. Me siento chumelo ahorita. <risa> Okay, take a screen. Take a screenshot of this info. It's only one one page teacher yeah only one okay thank you miss okay well okay here we go vamos a, a desarrollar el diálogo
Yo le tomé un link con el teléfono, pero ya voy a poder compartir. Ok. En el teléfono no compartí no me Pero... Hmm. En el grupo ya la compartieron Ruth, también. Ajá, y la, la compartí yo. Ok, ok. Sí, es que como no sabía cómo hacerlo con el teléfono y cómo estoy separada de la tanto. Pero ahí está. ¿Pueden vale. ver? Sí, sí. Gracias. Va, entonces. Está en el chat la compartí. Está en el chat de Ahí la compartí en el chat de la llamada. A ver, no me he cargado. ¿En cuál se ve mejor? ¿En esta o en la otra? Cualquiera. ¿Qué personaje quieren ser ustedes? Como usted quiera, Elizabeth. Ahí se nos dice. Ya, ah, perfecto. Acá. Vaya, pues. ¿Eh? Vaya, empiece su, su párrafo con su venta. La primera. Ajá. Vaya. You are the salesman of a company that sells office place today. You have a sales visit. No. La idea es que vaya cambiando <laughs> el párrafo con lo suyo. Por Dios santo. <laughs> no, no soy tan buena haciendo esto. Necesito serlo, pero no lo soy. De que ahí sería, vea, I, I am sales. Ayan Sales. Ah, ok. Ayan Sales. Sales me o Sales. Vendedora. Sales Woman. Sales Woman, ok. <risa> <risa> no, pero como, como, como estoy diciendo de mí, solamente voy a poner Sales, creo yo. O no. Sales Woman. I am Sales Woman of a. Uh... My own, co own company, mi yeah. propia compañía. Yeah, Vaya, yeah. Ya se la. <laughs> of, of a company that sells. Eh, ahí es donde tengo que cambiar, va. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ay, no, qué poco. Sell uh, accessories. Um, ¿Cómo se, dice en, ¿Cómo se dice más en inglés? ¿El qué? Más. ¿Más? Uh -huh. La palabra más, nada más. Yes. Solo vamos a poner eh, accessories, va, para no hacerla tan largo. Eh, today. Pero Carlos, usted la tiene que ir escribiendo. <risa> Como usted está compartiendo pantalla, ¿sí? ¿sí? No, no, como eso, como usted la ventana, usted va a sacar su párrafo, lo va a poner en el chat y yo lo pego. Ay, qué valor. Ah, vale. Hasta Ajá. Ajá. Vale, espérenme, pues. Todo lo que escribo se llega a las 10. Espérenme. 
Vaya, sería así, entonces. Vamos a ver. Ayante. Sales. No, sales. of company. Este sería como que el B. Para no confundirlo. Ajá. Sí, está bien. Este. Como, ajá, como dar introducción, sí, está bien. ¿Qué sería otra vez este? Va, y tenemos ya por lo menos algo. Uh, y ahí para hacer, para, para terminar. La tarea nos vamos a dividir en grupos. ¿Cómo haríamos? O, o cada quien haría la toda la conversación. Ahorita que aquí tenemos ya por lo menos un avance, solo sería de terminarla nada más. A ver, podemos, podemos irla, irla complementando. Ajá. ¿no? Uh -huh. Sería de implementos de computación. Una, bueno, aquí una, una laptop le puse yo. Creo que sería al revés. El B sería A. Porque la A es el vendedor. Eh, según las normas, cuando yo como vendedor, como comprador, llego. Entonces. Saludo primero, pero eso también dependerá si en la empresa donde usted trabaja lo saludan primero. O bueno, sí, en, en, el, en este caso del EDA. Pues... No sé ¿qué, qué ideas tienen. No sé, nos quedamos siempre con Office Supplies, entonces. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Eh, aquí la compañera Elizabeth está preguntando que por qué somos tres y solo son dos personajes. Ah, lo que sucede es que si trabajamos en pareja, eh, van a ser demasiado grupos. Por eso les dije que pueden, vamos a trabajar en, en tríos y que agregaran un, otro posible comprador. Ah, ok. Ok. Muchas gracias, teacher. Un gusto.
Vaya, entonces. ¿Cómo? Es que escojan su papel. Ajá, este, yo puedo ser vendedora. Vaya, comprador. Vaya, deme la bienvenida a la sucursal o no sé. Solamente es hablado, no lo vamos a escribir así, dejarlo. Perfecto. Ah, pues póngalo en el chat y vamos ahí que vayan surgiendo las ideas. Ya no estoy sacando. All right. Uh, well, uh, let's present tomorrow the dialogue that you will create. Okay, tomorrow you will have the chance to present the conversation. Okay, remember the purpose of this activity is that you put in practice the superlative, the comparative form, the modal verbs that we have been studying, the different structures, for example, simple present, simple past, etc. Okay, ahora vamos a tomar la asistencia. Vamos a comenzar con Mr. Alfredo Reyes. Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Maribel Ramos. Present teacher, aquí estoy. Calderón de López. Present. Alvarado de Benavides. Teacher. López González. Rugamas Melara. Present teacher. López González. Present. Present. Funes Mineros. Present teacher. Santana González. Present. Jugar Ayala. Herrera Lucha. Presente, teacher. Ok. Uh, López Orellana, thank you. Present, teacher. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Mejía Hueso. Present. Um, León Rivera. Present, teacher. Martínez Landa Verde. Castaneda Velasco, Romero Ayala, Rosibel Hernández, Asensio Areva. Present. Good. Present. Molina de García. Present. En López de Cabrera. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Well, uh, tomorrow uh, we're going to have the chance to present the dialogue. Okay, so please don't miss out next class. Tomorrow we're going to have class number 13. Okay, let's stop right here. Have a good one and God bless you. Good night. Good night, Joe. Bye, bye. Good night, teacher. 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 Good Yes, ma'am, I did. Igual la mía, teacher, porque hubo interferencia ahí cuando me mencionó. Alvarado, sí, ahora tengo que. Sí, tanto al inicio como al final. Sí, miss, no se preocupe, que okay. yo lo he notado. Gracias. Good night. Good night. Enjoy, sí.